Are you still looking for the perfect way to say I love you on Valentine's Day? Which, by the way, I just found out is this coming Sunday. Heather Cavett is Yahoo's web life editor, and she is here with the latest trends on the Internet. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Don't Our feel pleasure. bad. We're actually seeing a lot of searches for when is Valentine's Day. Oh. So don't feel bad. Yes. I said, is it really this Sunday? So what kind of searches are you finding on Yahoo around Valentine's Day? Well, the economy is still on people's minds. So it, it will be a budget-conscious Valentine's Day for many people. We're seeing searches for lots of um, homemade Valentine's cards, free cards, printable cards, uh, recipes. A lot of people are going to be doing probably dinner and a movie at home. We're even seeing searches for um, old movies. And the great thing is that you can search and find lots of free things that you can do on the internet. Like yes. on Flickr, what can you do, for example? Exactly. So Flickr is our photo sharing site. And one of the things you can do there is you can make a really cool slideshow using text or images. This is one that a friend of mine made. And um, it's free. And it's just another alternative to sending an e-card. You can just make a slide Show. Another, with pictures. With this pictures, is all the text, this is with but it text, goes on to pictures. But picture. you can do pictures as well. Um, there's also another site, uh, which is not on Flickr, but it's called pixorial.com. And this allows you to upload a video into a Valentine's Day card template. So you can put your own little short video, and then it makes it into an e-card. So there's one right there, um, which is really fun. And these are free. Do you have to be really computer savvy to do that? No. Are you these sure? Are, these are, I'm telling you. These are, these are really easy things to use. Anyone, I'm telling you, you don't need to be a geek to, uh, okay. to learn how to use these things. Okay, good. All right, also on Flickr, though, it's not just about pictures. You can get gift ideas. Right, well, Flickr is one of the largest photo sharing sites in the world. There are four billion images on there that you can search, and it has a very active crafting community. So oh. you search like homemade Valentine's Day gifts, and I found, let me show you, I actually made these little tea bags. These are homemade um, tea, ba tea bag wrappers that a blogger called Creature Comforts uploaded onto Flickr, and then I oh, so printed someone them else out. uploaded it for yeah, you. Yeah, what you do oh. is you look for, look for a gift idea, and then people will um, show you ideas and how to. So this is something that I made too. This is um, little candy wrappers for chocolate. Cute. So really cute stuff, and free. So you what know? do you do? You just print it and then wrap the candy? Mm -hmm. and, oh. the, and actually, this particular blogger actually had a video that I watched as well. So once I clicked through to her site, you could watch the video and it showed you how to do it. Sounds easy. Yes. All right. A lot of people have smartphones nowadays. What yes. kind of apps can you use around Valentine's Day that are romantic? There are some that are really cute and free. Um, Sweethearts is one which allows you to tweet digital candy hearts to your friends. Uh, Valentine's Day Radio is another one that allows you to pull together romantic music from around the world into your own little podcast that you can and plug into your stereo to set the mood. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, and then there's also a Create a Valentine one where you can actually, um, it's a Valentine's Day card e-template that you can email directly from your phone to your friends. All right. I know that green gifts are also popular Huge. This We're year. seeing lots of searches, again, for green gifts, as well as we, we did last year, too. Organic chocolates are really big. One site that I really like is called foodsy.com. What is you, it? It's foodsy.com, okay. and it's like a virtual farmer's market. So you can find really amazing, handmade, homemade, organic, natural products. These chocolates Looks here uh, are from Foodsy. And um, I should say, if you want to order these, you need to do it today or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. For sure. And is it F O O D S Y or S I E? F O O D Z I E. O Z I E. Dot okay. com. It's kind of like Etsy for crafts, but uh -huh. it's Foodsy for food. All so right. it's a good way to remember it. And then in response to all of the interest in green products, Yahoo put together a green gift guide. We actually have a green Ooh. site, green.yahoo.com. And um, here are some of the things you can actually find on there. Really cute stuff. These bracelets made by Zulu women. Um, and all this stuff is under $30, by the way. Um, also, these wallets made out of recycled neckties for guys. We've seen a lot of queries for what to buy for a man for Valentine's Day. So There's an idea. Be. Yep. All and right. um, a lot of other really cool stuff on there as well. Heather Cabot, thank you so much.